Hi, morning, guys. Yo, yo, yo. Morning. You say good morning? You guys have a special guest today. You guys are privileged to have Mr. J. Prince visit you personally. All right, Mr. Prince is good friend with uh. You guys want to go drink? Drink the rapper? Yes, Prince brought him out. You guys heard about Floyd Mayweather, the boxer? Yes, sir. The fight for Mr. James. You guys know uh, Kanye West? Yes, sir. Mr. Prince's friend. So you would share some words with you guys today, okay? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let me come up here a little closer so I can hear you. Okay. Let me just say it's a privilege and an honor to be able to uh, come and speak with you all. Remember back when I was what, about seven, all of you, nine. I was your size when I was nine. So, who, what's the oldest age out there right now? Twelve. On the right, on the right, man. And what's the youngest age? Nine or seven? All of you. Nine. So, nine. Little League football age. You know, that's when we were playing Little League sports when I was nine years old. But I want to come and um, kind of be an inspiration to you all on, on my journey, you know, when I was nine years old. Uh, I'm from the United States. I, mean, I'm, I come from a, a poverty-stricken area in the United States. And at the age of eight, nine years old, uh, one of my main goals back then was to break the poverty curse where my family was concerned. Poverty, y'all know what poverty is. That's poorness, that's a lot of uh, dealing with a lot of confusion, dealing with a lot of uh, uh, you know, all types of violence and different things that was in my environment and struggle. You know, being hungry, sometimes without food, uh, watching my parents struggle, cry because they wasn't able to feed me some night. So I had to deal with all of this at 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. And it caused me to start thinking about what could I do to change the environment and the lifestyle of my parents. So that's, that's what I want to talk about today. I want to uh, encourage you all because y'all uh, have the power to change the life of your mother, your father, and the future. The power resides in y'all hands. It's just a matter of uh, choice of what you want to do with it. Now, in my neighborhood, it was a lot of people trying to influence me to join gangs, trying to influence me not to come to practice, you know, trying to influence me to uh, get distracted from becoming who I became today. And that's the challenges that you all gonna have to deal with is the distraction of the outside world, the other kids y'all age trying to like uh, persuade you all into getting on drugs. Go well, try this one time. Not knowing when you try it one time, you're going to be addicted only the rest of your life. So I had to figure out how not to say no to those things. If I don't figure out how to say no to those things, then I don't even become the person to be a part of Drake's career. Be a part of Floyd Mayweather's career. Be a part, part of so many other uh, influential people in, uh, in the U.S. and around the world if I don't stay strong enough to say no. But most of all, if I don't be strong enough to say no to, you know, the, the people in my community that was my age then, I would have never been able to buy my mother a home. I wouldn't have never been able to buy my grandmother a home. I wouldn't have never been able to buy my father a home. I wouldn't have never been able to be in a position to provide for my kids. So I want y'all to start thinking about those things right now. Who you gonna become and the decisions you have to make at this age 
to get that because this age is important. Welcome, come, come right on in. I want y'all to understand like how crucial a lot of people want to say, oh, you're just a kid. You don't have to worry about this right now. Don't think of it. Nope. You're a kid, but you have choices and decisions that you have to make right now and don't allow, you know, the other people to make them for you. So.